Hello, everyone. This is Will from Apple One to One. Thank you very much for joining me for this episode. We are going to go over the Spotlight Search, the feature in Mac OS 26 Tahoe that will let you do some amazing things that we have never seen before inside the Spotlight Search that really have added to the experience. So please like and subscribe our content that we do all the time. We really like giving you guys some great training videos here on the Apple One to One training channel. Let's hit that 10,000 subscribers, guys. Let's get that going. So we're going to talk about out the spotlight now they added a lot of features here that we're going to go over today some are things that are familiar some things that are new uh, but i want to give you some ideas of how to use spotlight search that i feel are very valuable so we're going to start with the basics of spotlight search which are kind of normal uh, so of course the idea of spotlight search if you've never used it is that you can search anything whether it's web it's stuff in your computer but now there are new things that have been added here that will give you a better experience so the fastest way to do spotlight search is the command space bar that is the default setup as I'm using my keyboard here you're holding the command key and hit the space bar key and then I'll pop it up on the top right corner you can hit the search button right there it'll give you the same result what is a little annoying is that when I do command space bar it brings up spotlight search but doesn't pop up the four new icons that we're going to see over here but if I click up here, it does. I hope they kind of change that. I would like that to be updated. But if it's not, that's just the way it is. But if I do command space bar and I move my arrows, you can see it automatically pops open these items. We're also seeing these little shortcut keys, command one, and then command two, command three, and command four. If I'm in spotlight search and I do command one, it's going to open up spotlight automatically to the applications section and this is similar to what launchpad was before they've gotten rid of launchpad completely which you know i i kind of like launchpad i feel like there's an extra step here but because it's not available on the keyboard anymore it makes it a little bit tougher also i do have the keyboard button here as well so if you have one of the newer macs the f4 key represents spotlight search as well there are multiple ways to do it but i'm just so comfortable with command space bar and then if I click on the applications, it's exactly what it looks like. It's all the applications you have in your computer. You can look at this via either grid or view content as list mode. So you have two different ways to view your applications. I'm going to stick with grid. And then if I just click on Chrome, I can open it up. So these are all these different ways you could do this. There's nothing new. You could also just do a search if I just type the word Safari and then it opens up just those items inside of here so if you're looking for safari and you don't want to look through the entire system uh that would be why you would do that so if i go back to the beginning here let's go hit the back button so if i type in safari it's going to give me a whole bunch of options not just the apps and now you get all the search results and stuff like that so instead we could do just the command space bar do command one and then just do safari and the only we get is the apps this is similar also for the next one we're going to talk about. Files allows you to go through your files and find something you're looking for. Now, specifically, I'm looking at files. So if I look up the word wedding, I'm going to get anything to do with the word wedding in it and as a video. So a lot of it's my videos I do for my WV Productions company, but I also have like my wedding awards, all these different things that are file related are showing up here in this section. But you can also be very specific. So if I go back to files, we have QuickTime Player, Preview, PDF, Finder, Music. So if I click on PDF, now I'm just searching PDFs. And if I type the word wedding, it'll give me only the items that are PDFs with the word wedding in it. And that's how I get those items up there so that's an example of how you can be very specific in this section this is really nothing new you could definitely do things before like this but now you get a little bit more of a breakdown if you wanted to look up just preview items that you save there or if you're going through your music app and you want to look just for music so if i want to look up disturbed as an example one of my favorite bands you can look up there and it'll find the item you're looking for and then you can just click on it and then just hit return and it'll open it up for you these are two things that have kind of been there already but now we're going to dive deeper into something a little bit better that that's brand new we're going to click the back button here and let's go to the newest section called actions actions allows you to automatically do something without opening up an app and this is a very, very powerful tool. You can also set up something called quick keys. Quick keys are a great way to look up something in an app 
and do it automatically. So you can see we have a couple here, but we're going to go over that in a second. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do an action. So I'm going to go get directions and we're going to use Apple Maps here. Now, it takes a little bit of a second here, but as you can see, it says open directions. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to click it. And now it's saying open directions from current location to, and then I can decide where I want to go. So if I want to go to the Philly Zoo, as an example, I probably need to use the word Philadelphia Zoo. Okay, well, okay, it's fine. It's showing up anyway. So from my current location to the Philadelphia Zoo, and then it opens it up automatically. So what I've done is I have skipped opening up directions, going through all the steps, and the quick actions have automatically done that. Let's do that again. So I'm going to go back to actions this time. And there's a new feature called OD here, which means is the fastest way that I could do the same action. So instead of me clicking or doing a search, OD is the new shortcut key. And I could just hit return. And what that's going to let me do is it's going to let me do the same thing. And now I could do the same step. So quick keys are a great way to do something very quickly. Let's do another one. Let's go backwards here. And I could do send message. And then we could use the app to do that. So I'm going to say send message. So let's do Frank Funk here. So I'm going to say uh, hello, good morning. And I'm going to say two recipients. And then I'm going to type in the word Frank Funk. And Frank is going to show up here as the option. Click on him and then hit return. And now it's on the top here. You can see a little icon right here going off and it's doing the action that I told it to do. And now it just went off. We're gonna to try to do a shortcut for this. So I'm gonna to go to Frank Funk again. We're gonna do send message. And one of the results that's gonna pop up is Frank Funk here. Now, what I would like to do is I wanna add a quick key for that. So I'm gonna say Frank M. And that's going to equal a hotkey. And if I just click on return, now that hotkey is going to be a quick way to get to Frank Funk. So instead of typing the whole word, send message, I can now do the quick key. So I'm going to do Frank M. And what will happen now is it'll automatically pop up. And now I can just right away send the message to him and say hello in the send message in the message area and it would send the message out so that is a great way to do shortcut keys so we're going to do a new event so i want to go into my calendar and ne is how i set that up so that way if i just type in ne it'll automatically pop open with that so there it is it already has added add title from new tomorrow to noon to tomorrow at one so i'm just going to hit return and now i can add a title to this so if i have a call tonight so i have a call with client and then I just go to tomorrow at noon so I could say today 3 p.m. to today 4 p.m. and then I run that event you can see it's doing a action Let's go take a look at the calendar. So in my calendar right here, you could see call with client. And there it is. That's exactly what I just added. And my default is my filming and weddings section of my calendar. So I added it there. But of course, I could change that to whatever I want to go to. So that is what actions are. We're going to do one more thing with actions. And that has to pertain to being in apps. So if I open up pages right now, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to the title here and call it Welcome to My Book. And then I'm going to highlight this. One thing I could do now with, with, with the actual features of Spotlight is it knows what app I'm actually in. And what I could do is I can do the word like bold. And what that's going to do is it knows I'm in the app. And as you can see, look, this little action has popped up right here. Pages format font. You can actually change items that you're already in the app with. So as an example, if I was in this book and I want to say I want to change the font. And I could say font. It says replace font. And I'm going to do that. And now I can replace the font with something different. 
and it, as you can see, it changes it. So I highlighted my text. I went here, and instead of going up to Pages, Format, and Font, which you could do, or instead of going over here and doing your search, you could just do this with actions within the apps. There are a ton of these guys. I cannot go over all of them. I just can't. It's impossible. But you will have to do your own search. And plus, there'll be a lot of videos that might focus specifically on this. But it's really neat. Even if I go to Finder and do things. So if I open up Finder here, and I go to a screen recording I did, and I can go Move. So I could do Move File, and then there's an option I could even go Move File to Trash. And because I'm inside a Finder, I can right there move it to trash. So I can just hit return and there it is. It takes the file directly to the trash. I didn't have to drag it or anything. So there are really a lot of commands and it's based on the app that you're in, you can actually do some quick actions that don't require you to actually physically move anything. So go through and find all these different things. I already have some quick things you could do without having to do anything. You can rename files. Like I'm not even opening up the idea of actions, but you can create notes. You could do a lot of things with numbers. You could do so many different things here and you can create these keys these shortcuts that you could do like i created one for stf to show stories from today so i'm going to do stf and then it's going to hit return it's going to open that up and i will say it could be a little delayed it all depends on your machine and what you have set up for everything but that's just the idea of using the actions feature the final thing we're going to talk about is the newest thing which is a clipboard how apple has not had a clipboard app i have no idea but clipboard is now available here as an option so command four is clipboard and then i already have a couple examples here of items that i copied so how this works with clipboard is you have eight hours of clipboard actions this is a downfall in my opinion i don't know why it has to be very specific to eight hours. I have a clipboard app up here, which lets me actually do a whole bunch of things. So I really don't even bother with this a little bit, but you can go here and you can also set up settings and you can clear the history of your clipboard if you want to. So you do have some extra settings here, but all you have to do is copy something and it'll be there. So Mac rumors, and then I'll just say, I'm gonna highlight this and do command C. Let's create a new note as an example, because it's not really good with date. So let's do that. What do I want to say? So I'm just going to put down Samsung to unveil tomorrow. So as you can see, I could do clipboard as well. So if I went to the clipboard, I go over here. You can see the item I copied. I could just click there, and then I could paste it. Uh, also, you can, if you want to do something from the past, you would just go back here to clipboard, and then you could just go to the item you want by using your arrow keys. Or again, you could just click and then just paste it. And there it is, and it'll add that to there. And that's how you do the clipboard. It's really nothing much to it, and it opens it up, put the date here. So that is how you use Spotlight Search. It's got some really powerful tools here to use, and you can go and take a look around. There's going to be a lot more added to this, I believe, in the future. So please go through and take a look at all the different things you can do in here. And these are just some of the basic things of learning how to use Clipboard. I hope this was very educational to you. Take a look, and if you have any questions or comments below, please add them there. Thank you very much, and I love every single one of you. Thank you.